Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Hey, how's everybody doing today? My name is Sean Powers and I am bringing instruments from all over the world. This is going to be a journey of sound from all over the world. But all these instruments are going to share something that they all have the same thing about them. Uh, they share something that is universal and it's kind of funny and I want you guys out there to figure out what exactly it is because I'm going to play each instrument and talk about them a little bit and then we're going to try to guess what they share in similarities. Uh, now this instrument, does anyone know what this is called? Yeah, I had to play it again to remind you. Yeah, this thing is a, called an accordion. An accordion. This is actually called a button melodeon. And look at this. It opens and closes. It has a lung. It opens and closes. Let air in. This is... It's good to breathe. And it has these, these valves that you open and close. And it has this keyboard here. Look at the keyboard. Your fingers play the keyboard. And my thumb is in the back there, and my thumb is in the back there, and there's another, look at that. This is a pretty amazing instrument, very complicated instrument, but very simple too. Now remember, all these instruments share a similarity, and we're going to try to figure out what it is. So we'll listen to this one for just one more note. Yeah, so I'm going to put this down, and now I'm going to play another instrument that actually shares a lot of similarities between the accordion. You know what this is? I think everyone's seen these. You probably might even have one in a drawer somewhere. You should have it in your pocket because this is a really good instrument to carry in your pocket. This is, this is, you know what it's called? Harmonica, yeah. So the accordion and the harmonica. Yeah, it could be a really annoying instrument. It could be really loud and noisy if you go, oh, 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 please don't do that. But it could be a really sweet melodic instrument also. Yeah, so this is harmonica, right? Now, this is kind of a comical harmonica. It's really teeny. Look how big that thing is. Look at that. This is kind of a joke harmonica, but this, again, has something it shares with the, this harmon big harmonica, little harmonica. Yeah, you can almost swallow this thing. I would not want to swallow this. Now, we have that. Now, we, we got down the harmonica and the accordion and the smaller harmonica. Now, this is just a funny little single note thing and you can see something inside there yeah this it's just it's, it, this isn't what is one of those little animals that you rock back and forth and it goes wah, wah. but this is what's inside of there and it sounds like this it goes yeah it sounds like a little mouse now you remember that sound right now here's another one with something it has that same weird little thing in there look at that I don't know if you can see that pretty good, but this is from one of those toy uh, things that you had a party. You go, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Now, there's that funny sound. Now, here's an instrument from another part of the world. This is from Laos, which is uh, in between, it's in Southeast Asia, uh, above uh, Thailand, and this is a bamboo flute, and it has a really interesting little reed in there yeah it's made out of metal and it has the holes like a flute and it has a really unique sound almost like a scratchy sound so this is this now this is called a dom blai the instrument is called dom blai <laughs> You hear that? It sounds like a flute, but it's a different kind of sound. Now here's another instrument. 
This is called a Hulu. And you can see that it has a beautiful gourd body and bamboo. And it has this really beautiful tassel hanging down from it. I think it means good fortune. And this has, again, this has shares a similarity with the accordion and the harmonica and the little squeaky noisy toys. Now listen to this guy. Isn't that beautiful? I love this instrument. You know, look at that thing. It's just nice to look at. Look at that. It's beautiful. Anyways, I have that instrument. Now, this is a kind of a modern version of this instrument. This is very old. This is called a kin. And this is from the Mian people in uh, uh, East, East China, I believe. They live way up in the mountains. And it has a a gourd body just like that instrument but the gourd's kind of rougher and it has all these bamboo tubes and it has a bunch of holes in it, it looks like a duck doesn't it quack 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 now this is a this is called a kin and i've had this for about 40 years and i've had it for a long time and i've always taken care of it because it's really brittle and and it, it, it's it has a beautiful sound this is something that you probably have never heard before That sounded like, kind of like the harmonica, didn't it? And it kind of sounded like a bagpipe, too. Huh, wait a minute. I think I'm starting to... Are you starting to see the similarities in these instruments? Now, now here's another one. Now, this this is has that same metal reed in it. And I'll, I'll hit it with my hand and make it sound like... what well, it sounds just the reed by itself. It has that buzzy sound. Buzz, 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 buzz. In a lot of world music, the buzz sound has a big, it's a big deal. It's very important. Some people think, what's that noise? What is that noise? And that buzz is part of the music. Now this is, again, this is called a dumb blind. This is a slightly larger one. Laos, this is from. <laughs> Dumblai. It's a really beautiful instrument. And this is made out of bamboo too. And there's that buzzy sound. Oh, a buzzy sound. Yeah, huh. Metal reed, huh. Huh. I wonder if there's a little metal reed in this harmonica. I, I wonder. I, you know what? I bet you there's a little metal reed in this. That's right. And... Oh, wait a minute. This is a big, huge version of that metal reed. Look at that. Look at that thing. This is made out of copper or brass, and it's hand cut. And this is called a jaw. And this, too, is from, uh, this is from Thailand, but this particular one is from Vietnam. And this is what this sounds like. Yeah. Doing, 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 doing. Now this and this. Oh, wait a minute. There's one more instrument that is kind of related to the accordion and the harmonica and all these other instruments I've been showing you. The hulu and the dumblai and the jaw. That's right. This is another 
This is a Ken, and this is another instrument from Laos. And this one is very large, of course, you can see that it can almost, it's almost not fitting in the picture. And they actually dance with these, but these, this instrument they usually would play at someone's funeral. And uh, it has kind of a, a somber, uh, sad sound to it. Yes, now this is called Ken, and it's a really beautiful instrument. And yes, I think we figured out what all the similarities are. Inside of this instrument and all these other instruments is a little teeny tiny metal reed that opens and closes. Now, in the 1800s, a German explorer uh, went to uh, East Asia somewhere and brought back an instrument like this instrument because when he heard that beautiful sound it was it was mystifying and took one back and took it apart and inside noticed that they had an open and closing reed now this one has a bamboo reed not a metal reed but a bamboo reed but from that came the accordion and the harmonica and the melodica, which is another instrument that I don't have. And this, the, all these instruments all shared that open and closing reed. And so that is a time for music to be expanded. So I hope you enjoyed this music class. And um, really, when you're playing music, always be playful. And my name is Sean Powers. And that's a little bit of history about these instruments. And there's going to be more shows, so come check it out. Oh, you know what I really miss too? I really miss the library. Yeah, because I learn a lot of stuff from the libraries. And the libraries are truly wonderful. So let's all support the libraries when they come back open. And let's have a good time. And always remember, be playful. This is Sean Powers. Be playful. Yo!